Reporting to my life here from the condo with my Skip the Dishes Halloween beach volleyball costume. It's live from last week, episode 149. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow two walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Starting off just in between my two night shifts. After yesterday getting one of the best sleeps that I've had in a year, today my post night shift nap has gone back to being inadequate once again. But either way, I've got some interesting news to share with you guys from earlier this morning. While commuting home from work, guess who, for the first time in a while since this Live From Last Week episode, got to see my guy on the scooter with a green covering roaming around the sidewalks of Scarborough. Anyways, now proceeding on to our birthday greetings of the day. Before going in for my night shift, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends from Beach Volleyball that I've known Four years. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So last night during night shift, after hearing that one of our former coworkers had visited our unit during the day, leaving us some treats on the unit, looking around the break room, guess who saw not just one, but two donut boxes in the vicinity. And once again, like I've done several times in the past when there are treats in this break room, I chowed down on not just one regular sized donut here, but also made time to eat a second mini donut in between seeing my patients. Thanks Faith Joy! And now on to today wanting to burn off these extra calories. Motivated by a couple of things, such as seeing the sunset to the west before I went in for my night shift, seeing a post of one of my buddy's fitness goals of running a 4 minute kilometer by sometime next year, watching this young one lead the Niagara Marathon 5 kilometer race literally from start to finish, with, by the way, a time that is amazing for anybody out of any age group, and the fact that at this specific race, if I trained well enough, I could possibly land in the top three of my age group category. Post shift sleeping for only an hour between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. With my watch not even recording my sleep record since my sleep was too short. I decided to do what I did on one of my evenings last week and started to do a training run in my usual five kilometer neighborhood loop, getting my heart rate up to its peak. And compared to last week's time, Finished the session feeling pretty fatigued with these stats along with this recorded time. Afterwards, I was able to utilize my condo fees by doing a nice relaxing post-run swim session at the condo pool for about an hour. Then to chill for the evening, the wife and I got into a thriller movie type of mood by watching one of our all-time favorites, the first Final Destination movie. We then kept it going by watching the second installment of the Final Destination franchise, which had reminded me of how much I hate driving right behind large cargo trucks on the highway, especially the time that this happened in a previous Live From Last Week episode. So guys, if you guys have seen the movie Final Destination, you probably know why I am feeling really worried driving on the highway right now. We then capped off the night by watching on TV the regular season home opener of these guys who I watched in the preseason at the Scotiabank Arena last week, watching the first game of the regular season of the 2023-2024 Toronto Raptors. Anyways, now before I pass out from only getting one hour of sleep post night shift, I just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my titas out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tita Bibeth. Happy birthday, Tita Bibeth. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood classmates going back to our Good Shepherd days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Krista. Happy birthday, Krista. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, 
and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So trying to catch up on sleep with my body waking up almost exactly six hours after I passed out last night, I woke up early to be productive and edit some live from last week video before the sun had even come out. I then drove the wife to a meeting at a place nearby my hometown that I've always heard about but never actually have been to at the Robert McLaughlin Gallery in downtown Nashua. Of which, if you guys didn't already know, has free admission. And after giving a recommended $5 donation into the donation box here, I checked out several of the gallery spaces that they had here which I thought were full of beautiful pieces of art, with some of these selections being a couple of my favorites. Starting off with my experiences with Rubik's Cubes, and a painting of this character with a Rubik's Cube of their own, to my fun times that I had at Carabana back in August, and this inspired painting that I saw in the corner of the room, as well as my time in Vancouver last spring, reminding me of this painting on the wall of the gallery. But I'm thinking my favorite was probably this piece of art, of which I stood by and appreciated for several minutes before moving on to other galleries. But I did see a piece of art which reminded me of one of my buddies solely because of his last name. But anyways, after spending another 30 minutes here appreciating art with the wife, we made our way to a place that we haven't been to since this Live From Last Week episode to meet up with the parents to have some lunch at the local Portly Piper, enjoying some of their specialty burgers while we were here. But yeah, speaking of burgers, going back to this Live From Last Week episode from last year, this year they brought back the McDonald's Beyond the Arch promo. Where if the Raptors score more than 12 three-pointers in the game, the following day, McDonald's customers get a free medium-sized fries with a minimum food or beverage purchase of a dollar. This evening, I decided to go to McDonald's to redeem their free Beyond the Arc medium fries Raptors offer. But this year, instead of the minimum purchase being only a dollar, the minimum purchase had increased to three dollars. But after seeing one of my friends post on what McDonald's is giving away as their free Happy Meal toys at this time, I'm deciding to make my minimum $3 purchase as a Happy Meal. Anyways, before wrapping it up for the night, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made on my World Youth Day trip in 2011. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Pinder. Happy birthday, Pinder. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made at FCAR during their FCAR events in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers out there of whom I went to Christmas parties with and who I gave a mini carpool several months back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bea. Happy birthday, Bea. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So last night when I got my Happy Meal, I had a little bit of a wham moment. Since the McDonald's that I went to ran out of Halloween buckets, this is what happened. Dang it guys, instead of getting the Halloween bucket, I got a book. Better luck next time. What a mistake! And by the way, another wham moment happened this morning when my body woke up early once again after less than six hours of sleep right before 6 a.m. might I add. So I decided to be productive anyways, going to the condo gym for the first time since the pandemic started, realizing that once I started up the treadmill that the default setting is now my current age and trying out the treadmill settings at a five minute per kilometer pace. But after less than three minutes of cardio, I realized that my body was still quite out of shape, my heart rate was already at its peak, and I had to stop my treadmill session a little bit short. So I decided to switch it up by doing a little bit of upper body strength training for a little bit, doing some chest workouts, some back workouts, and a couple of tricep and bicep workouts during a 30 minute circuit. I then went to the condo indoor swimming pool to do a quick 30 minute cool down 
before wrapping up my whole workout with a quick 15 minute session in the sauna. And for my post-workout protein snack, seeing that my protein powder canister was pretty much finished, I decided to be efficient by adding my shaker ball to this container, along with just a little bit of water here, close this baby up, do what Outcast said and start shaking it like a Polaroid picture, and enjoy my post-workout protein shake straight from the source. As well, after a day of already feeling productive, at night, I decided to treat myself out to something that I haven't had in a while. Taking the baby rouge out while I had a t-shirt on in this unbelievably warm weather, considering it's the end of October. Going to order some too good to go for dinner from the local Dagbuan on Kennedy to enjoy this baby at home. So looking at this delicious meal already prepared for me while opening the takeout box, this was my review after eating this glorious food once again. So good guys. Takpuan is so good. As a matter of fact, too good to go. But moving on later in the evening with the minimal energy that I still had, breaking out this baby that I actually bought a couple years ago, the one, the only Skip the Dishes large delivery bag for a costume that I'm planning to dress up in for a Halloween event at the beach. So to add to the costume, I went to my local Domino's to buy a couple of pizzas, utilizing my Skip the Dishes bag for food for the first time, and riding the motorcycle to this year's Halloween beach volleyball event at the beach. How are you playing with a bag? Yeah. Holy yeah. Oh, oh, the bag is slowing you down, yeah. man. Why does it run to I thought you were delivery. You gotta get from there to there. And after that fun time that we had earlier today, with these highlights being some of my favorites. Whoop. Oh. What? Is there a ball back here? No. Over! <laughs> and it skipped the dishes. Woo. <laughs> One, two. We have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys this evening. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my childhood friends who I remember learning dance moves from when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrew. Happy birthday, Andrew. The next birthday greeting goes out to one of my high school friends who I also reunited with back when we were living at Wysick. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ashley. Happy birthday, Ash. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who, you guys remember, I met up with at Blue Mountain a couple of winters ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rose. Happy birthday, Rose. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So unfortunately, once again, going to bed at around 2 a.m. and getting up before 6 a.m., I had an extremely poor sleep last night since I had a little bit of a stomach ailment that had woken me up from my sleep.
But yeah, I was so disappointed in my recent sleep patterns. I decided that I needed to start being productive editing this exact Live From Last Week video episode. Literally spending the whole day from early, early morning to editing this baby in the middle of the afternoon. Continuing editing it into the early evening. Making time to catch the sunset for a little bit before proceeding to edit this video until after the sun went down. And recalling how hard I worked out my out of shape body yesterday, my limbs were definitely really stiff and pretty sore. So I decided to break out my Dr. Ho's massage therapy that I have and placed it on my skin for a nice little massage, forgetting that this thing actually involuntarily stimulates your muscles quite a bit. And to be honest, I did find a little relief as this thing definitely helped me release some of my previously tight muscles. Anyways, I'm going to attempt to edit a couple more Laugh From Last Week videos before I try to recover and catch up on sleep tonight. And I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Guys, after passing out and getting a half decent sleep last night, but still having a lot to catch up from Saturday, compared to how I dressed just this past Friday night, because of the colder wet weather this morning making it feel like 2 degrees outside, I broke out my trusty green winter snow pants to wear, as well as my high visibility neon jacket to head out to show you guys what I wore on Friday compared to what I wore this morning. Leaving the condo before the time of the sunrise? to an early 7.30 Sunday morning Catholic Mass at a church that I have never ever been before near McCowan and Lawrence in Scarborough, the St. Rose of Lima Roman Catholic Church. Then after Mass, we headed with the motorcycle to the cemetery to do this month's October visit to see my Lola. All right, hey Lola, it's JJ. Just doing my monthly visit to you and looking at the display that I got you Last month, it looks like it's still intact. Anyways, Lola, just wanted to say hi. Keep praying for us, looking over us in our everyday lives. We miss you, we love you, and we'll see you again next month, Lola. Bye for now. And afterwards, back at the condo, I was able to work on my cardio a little bit. Getting on for the first time since last week. Riding the stationary bike for a good sweat in a nice laid back, hour long, bike session. I then drove all the way back to my hometown, visiting a place that we haven't been to since this Live From Last Week episode, the one and only restaurant we know as The Courtyard, reuniting with one of my childhood buddies who we last saw in this previous episode, cheersing and enjoying some beverages with Shaughnessy. Alright, cheers Justin. Say your cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and after chowing down on this delicious goat cheeseburger with this video taken by our waitress and shout outs to Elizabeth This is my goat cheeseburger from Courtyard <laughs> I would definitely recommend this goat cheeseburger if you guys ever find yourself at the Courtyard we next headed our way back to Shaughnessy's place to reenact and do something that we did back in our childhood, much like the times before Twitch was invented. And that was have him play video games on TV while I supported and watched him literally kill it in these video games. And after witnessing him play the game Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, I'm back at home to do one single birthday greeting for you guys this evening. With this birthday shout out going out to one of our friends who did the wife's hair during a photo shoot back when we lived downtown. This birthday greeting goes out to you Kate. Happy birthday Kate. I'm hoping that at this time you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Last night after passing out just after midnight, I got less than four hours of sleep in before luckily passing out once again, getting a total of less than six hours of sleep this time, getting up to pick up the wife from work downtown after one of her busy night shifts. And after gaining some motivation after yesterday's stationary bike workout, 
I was up to do another one, this time with a challenge that I've done in previous episodes, both working on and solving a complete Rubik's Cube while doing this unique workout. Also, being that it's almost Halloween, I had my patented flip side t-shirt on while exercising and instantly put on this unique costume of a ninja exercising on a stationary bike. But anyways, after putting away parts of my beach volleyball Halloween costume from this year, I'm trying to figure out what exactly I should wear for tonight's night shift going in for tomorrow's morning Halloween celebrations. But before I go into work, doing six shifts in the span of the next eight days, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my university classmates of whom I had placement with in Cheryl's second year group. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Victoria. Happy birthday, Victoria. I next have a birthday greeting to one of my friends out there of whom I made through FSAT back when they were at U of T. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Paula. Happy birthday, Paula. And last but not least, I got a birthday shout out to my sister-in-law who has made several Live From Last Week cameos in the past and who I miss getting free Denny's birthday breakfast with. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jersey. Happy birthday, Jers. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And guys, with that, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.